Okay, I thought I'd do an update for uh, my viewers. This is the PMA I was working on last weekend. And uh, I've got it mounted, finally, <laughs> after a couple nights. And what I did is I, I used kind of things that were handy around the shop. Um, here I used uh, some copper pipe. And I used that as my standoff. And I used a, a bolt here. This washer is just strictly for spacing. And ran it all the way down inside my bracket. And if you can, I don't know if you can see there, but there's, uh, I just had a wing nut. So I just used that. My intention was by drilling really close to the wall. I thought that uh, the wing nut would maybe get stuck against the wall and keep it from coming undone. So, but anyway, what I did is this part here, this you know, this housing here, it's actually from one of those uh, tables that you can mount to your wall and put like a TV monitor on or a computer monitor on. It's got this. Uh, like it's it's got the base it would have a base down here that the monitor would sit on and then the tube would go through here and then I think curve around and this part here you would bolt to the wall and run a inch and a half pipe through it now what I did is I went and picked up a shaft a one inch shaft with a um, I forget what this little groove is called uh, but a key, I think it means it's keyed, so I could use my Allen key and and I don't know what it's called anyway. But I thought I'd go the proper route. So anyway, I got this three foot section, and I used my existing collars and um, for the top, so it would go on top like this to keep. It from riding up and down the unit from going up and down and then right here is a bearing Let's see if I can pop it off so you can see Let's see if I lift it off so there is the bearing I'll just spin it a little bit and it just spins fantastic and underneath they call it a locking collar so anyway this fits on. You have to make sure the bottom is lined up there like that. And all that gooey stuff is uh, some grease. But anyway, originally I was using this for my vertical wind turbine project and then I thought I'd use it for my PMA but it spins very nicely. Nice and smooth and so on. So I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. Plan is to go up to the cabin this weekend, I know I said that before, but I had other projects to do, and maybe get it rigged up. So, anyway, it spins good. I think I might put a plastic PVC pipe or something over just to keep the elements out of here to keep snow and rain and so on, and I uh, should be pretty happy. Then I'm going to grab, uh, this might be kind of tacky, but... I'm going to use a uh, mixing bowl and put it over the front to create a bit of a, a housing. Uh, I've got one here. Just grab it in my messy shop. Now, I know it looks kind of butchered. This was from another project. I didn't have a proper drill bit to drill the end, but this is just a mixing bowl that I picked up from like one of those uh, thrift shops and the plan is I put it uh, oh I'll pick up a bigger one and put it sort of like keep spinning around but you get the point anyway I, I can't really film and do this at the same time plus the magnet but I, like this sort of thing it I know it sounds kind of silly but if I cut a proper hole in the end, I can mount it right on. Thinking one way just to keep some of the elements out. But 
it's, it's a work in progress, you know. Uh, so, anyway, that's all for now. Uh, and uh, tomorrow I'll probably be working on getting my gas generator up and working, but today I had uh, about 30 minutes in the shop to work on it. So, feel free to post any comments if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.